Hello, hello, everybody. I'm here. Happy Veterans Day. Hope it's all all good with you guys. I'm all I'm all warmed up in my. It's cold here in Chicago. It doesn't look like it from my my summer Northern Michigan background. <laughs> it is. I was uh, going to take the day off here, but uh, I had an astute viewer, as I like to say, named Pat. You know who you are. You emailed this to me, and I just had to share this nugget. It is so deliciously awful. Can you hear me all all right? All right, let's let's get this party started. It's good stuff. It's another court hearing in Michigan. I don't know why I'm getting all Michigan court hearings. I it's fine. I don't have anything against Michigan court hearings, but I I'm all for it. If people have uh, uh, good court calls from other states, please send them to me. I that's just literally what's coming into my feed and being sent to me. It's probably Judge Middleton's fault. This is not Judge Middleton. Let's do this thing. From the secret headquarters of the Sovereign Citizen Patrol, initiating video production sequence. We are no longer playing. <laughs> so let's get revved up. Already? It's time for Law Talk with Mike. From the secret headquarters of the Sovereign Citizen I'm Patrol. What happened here? Initiating video production sequence. We are no longer playing. Oh, technical difficulties so already. let's get revved up. It's time for Law Talk with Mike. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you, Krabby. Oh, the pups appreciate it. Right. Uh, we are uh, back on the record then in a matter of uh, people versus Robert Matson. Uh, sir, you are Robert Joseph Matson, correct? <clears throat> Sorry, the audio is rough. An attorney for the all caps name Robert Joseph Manson. Oh, I, I am not. living flesh and blood, <laughs> human. Upper and lower case, Robert hyphen Joseph colon space Manson. Oh boy, we got it all. We got it all. He's he's starting with quantum grammar. By the way, this judge, uh, Ol Saver. I know I've done a video on him. I haven't. Whatever. I was busy, so I just I just did this. But I know I've seen him. I know I've done a prior video. If I find it, I'll put a link to it in the description below. But he's good. He's a no nonsense guy. That is my name. All right. <clears throat> Vilified Freedom is in the house. Hi, Simon. My birth certificate. Live birth. That would be me. Has understood that the government has taken that name and made an all caps name and tried to be uh, <clears throat> to claim an account over that name, which to do business with. Watch the judge. He is so good. His facial expressions. He's mo he's mostly stoic, but but still, just you can read everything. It's fantastic. All right, sir. Do you understand <laughs> that you have a right to be represented by an attorney in this matter? All right. I do understand that. Do you also understand that uh, if you want an attorney and you can't afford one that you can tell me that and I would appoint one for you at public expense. UC, UCC 1-308 all rights reserved by me answering and speaking to you at this time does it mean that I'm in any way mm. being Italian beef all day given any kind of <laughs> and thank you authority over that my body to you at this time. Okay. I will, your honor. I will note, sir, your objection to uh, my jurisdiction over you, uh, and I will preserve that for the record. Um, as your honor, did, as I'm we sorry, discussed in the hearing on Monday, I, I, it is my position that this court does have jurisdiction over you, and I am going to proceed as such. And <laughs> yeah, because he does. <laughs> 
and and he knows it. Also, not not too over the top, but the assistant assistant public defender, uh, defender or APA. I what what is that? Whoever, uh, Phoebe. She she's uh she has a hard time throughout this this video as well. Uh, again, your objection is preserved for the record, and if you would like to file an appeal, if that becomes uh, necessary at a later date, you'll have the ability to do that. Actually, I think I can do something a little quicker. Um, I like to exercise my rights to subrogation, have the prosecutor um, <clears throat> um, file. <clears throat> Just because it's an odd word, let, let me show you. There are no rights to subrogation involved here. None. <clears throat> my right to subrogation or certify my right to subrogation at this time. Uh, it's an undeniable this, right. Subrogation is the removal of a third party. It's in laws, Black Laws Dictionary, 6th edition. Also. Okay, this is all nonsense. Subrogation means you're stepping in the shoes of another person. So, for instance, I always see it. Uh, with an insurance company who pays out on a claim, and then and then they they sue the other driver who's at fault, and they'll step in to the extent of their liquidated damages. I don't want to get into all that stuff. What he's using it for is he's he's trying to use subrogation and say that there's a straw man. It's complete and total garbage, and it has no meaning whatsoever in this criminal context. So the blue beard, it's law, um, <clears throat> dictionary second edition that the removal of third party would be the prosecutor in this case. Oh, yeah. He said it Black's Law. All right. Uh, I'll note that request for the record and find that there is uh, no right to subrogation in a criminal matter, and so I'm going to deny that request. Um, again, your objection will be noted for the record, and if you uh, feel you need to appeal that decision at a later date, you will have the ability to do that. Um, uh, you understand, uh, sir, you understand, sir, that you understand, sir, Mr. Sir, oh, please thank let you, me Charlie. Speak. Do you understand, as I asked earlier, that um, if you can't afford an attorney and you want one, that the court would appoint one for you at public expense? Do not want one. Thank you. Okay. I got a yellow, so I don't even know I, what this is. Lenawee County. Okay. Not a U.S. citizen. I am sovereign. Separated myself from the U.S. government back yeah, we, in 2018. We've, we've covered that objection, Mr. Matson, and I've ruled on it. Again, it's preserved for the record, and you can appeal it to the Michigan Court of Appeals um, if you would like to do that. Oh, Lord. The, the judge has heard all this before from this defendant specifically. And and here he is objecting to uh, to the government. Meanwhile, of course, wearing the orange and incarcerated. It's fraud. American Jewish prudence guaranteed it's fraud. Yes, it is. Thank you. I studied up and down. I know it all too well. So it will go to the Supreme Court. I promise you. Okay. I studied it. It will go to the Supreme Court. No, it won't. Uh, the Supreme Court will deny cert on this. You'll never go anywhere. So you could try to file an appeal. You might be able to get that done with the public defender, but he he even refuses that help at this point. As as of right now, uh, <clears throat> for the record, unless the record reflects any objections or denials that you keep denying me that I'm asking you to file a 1090, an OID 1099 uh -oh. for the prosecutor because the prosecutor is using my name to do business. And I will I will prepare the 1096 and the 1099A. So this court proceeding is going to go on and have a jury trial. And it's going to be sovereign <laughs> people, secure party creditors at my status, and also... You're going to be filing that OID 1099 for the prosecutor. Right, sir. Do you understand that you've been charged with possession of a controlled substance in this case and that the maximum penalty for that offense? Mr. 
Sir, I'm going to ask you to let me finish when I'm speaking. I've I've done the same for you, and I'd ask you to do the yes, same sir. for you. Your Honor. Yes, sir. You understand that you've been charged in this case with possession of a controlled substance, cocaine, heroin, or another narcotic of less than 25 grams, that the maximum penalty for that offense is up to four years in prison. I do not understand the nature and the cause of the crime. All right, I'm advising you at this point that you have been charged with possession of a controlled substance, cocaine, heroin, or another narcotic of less than 25 grams, and that the maximum penalty for that offense is up to four years in a prison. I'm also advising you that you've been charged with operating on a suspended license. Uh, a, a license has been suspended, revoked, or denied, but there is a uh, second offense notice with that, and therefore, uh, the maximum penalty for that offense is up to one year in jail and or a $1,000 fine. I'm also advising you that you have been charged in this case with uh, alcohol, open container, and a vehicle. Uh, and the maximum penalty for that offense is up to 90 days in jail. This also carries a habitual offender second offense notice. Uh, which increases the potential penalty to one and a half times the maximum sentence on the primary offense. Uh, as I've indicated, you do have the opportunity to consult with a lawyer if you wanted one, and if you can't afford one, I would appoint one for you at public expense. Uh, Mr. Manson, or sir, I... Uh, I believe you've referenced this already, but do you have any training in the law? <laughs> Thank you, David. Yes, I do. Don't worry. Uh, I'll unbutton it even more. Would you next tell time. me just a little bit what that training is? <clears throat> Common law. Okay. And have you studied that yourself? Yes, I have, along with a couple other people. <laughs> Okay, you understand that the law in this case consists of criminal... The judge just wants to know if he studied it. He didn't want to know the particulars of the, the study group. <laughs> it was you and Kirk Pendergrass and, and uh, Ryan Alton. You just, okay. ...statutes that you're alleged to violate, the Michigan court rules of criminal procedure, Michigan court rules on evidence, and any number of decisions from the Michigan Supreme Court and Court of Appeals within which interpret those statutes and rules. I understand that the Michigan Supreme Court offers two different types of courts. Common law court, and uh -huh. tribunal, military maritime court, which this court is operating under and they're not operating properly with me at this time. Right, you understand that the prosecutor that is sorry, go ahead. You understand that the prosecutor that's gonna try this case uh, has been to law school, has had significant education and a number of years of experience and training in the law. And that's perfectly fine. All right, do you understand that if you do represent yourself, you're going to be required to follow the Michigan court rules and the rules of evidence? Um, I'm going to be operating under common law laws, which that's what I should be under as common law. If this is not a common law court, I don't belong here. <laughs> right. you understand? The judge just doesn't even know where to go with it. With the the ultimately, you know, stupid statement. I'm operating under common law laws, and he's just like, I I got nothing. I don't, I don't know what to say to that. Understand <laughs> that I I I know you've made that objection and then made it several times, but I'm going to conduct a, pro a trial on this matter that's going to require you to follow the Michigan court rules and the Michigan rules of evidence. You understand that? Yes, sir. 
And you understand that those rules are going to determine whether you can do things like ask certain questions of witnesses, admit documents, photographs, or any other evidence that you might have. Yes, sir. You understand that you're going to be responsible for the jury selection process, and that's also governed by court rules, which determine when you can appropriately challenge a witness. Yes, sir. Oh, let me tell you how he doesn't understand that. <laughs> that what he what that that little thing he just said is is literally ninety percent of the complication with with evidence and all that stuff. But whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just funny. Uh, you understand that in order to become uh, a licensed attorney to practice in Michigan, it typically requires at least three years of law school and passing a bar exam to to show that you have a sufficient knowledge to work as an attorney. Not a part of state of the Michigan. I am a, I am a, the Republic of Michigan, Michigan oh, yeah. or Michigan Republic. I saw that and it made me say, I have to go live with this. It's too good. I am the Republic of Michigan. I, I had a prior video where involving the Republic of Canada. And, uh, you know, I just happened to be from Michigan and I rolled across that. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me with this. Okay. You understand that in order, if you wanted to have a license to practice law in Michigan, you would need to go to law school and... Uh, pass the bar exam. It sure is. No, nope. incorrect. Thank you. Okay, you understand that most that the attorneys handling this your case, the prosecutor is going to have uh, a license to practice law in Michigan that meets the requirements that I've already indicated to you. Which, which makes any judge or prosecutor or attorney. A part of Great Britain, foreigners, uh -huh. only operating <laughs> under their sovereign, foreign sovereign immunity, which actually I have myself. Foreign sovereign immunity. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I don't know what he's talking about. And Trump's over all years. All right. I, I, again, I appreciate your objection to uh, this court's jurisdiction, and I've, I've ruled on that. And um, again, I, I'm not I'm not going to change the ruling. Um, you can appeal that to the Court of Appeals and the Supreme Court if you wish at the appropriate time. Do you understand that Definitely. at least, at least in my opinion, I think you're going to be at a significant disadvantage in this case if you attempt to represent yourself uh, with a licensed am. attorney on the other side. I already am. I'm dealing with the wolves. The wolves. There's no, there's no fair trial in this military maritime court. There's nothing fair about it. I mean, you've already made a determination the other day that I was. Uh, not guilty. Last time I seen you in court. Let the record reflect that. I mean, you sit there sir, and enter sir, and not guilty. Sir, as I, indicated, you said I was not guilty. as I indicated to you uh, at that hearing, I entered a not guilty plea for you. That is not my determination that you are not guilty of what's been alleged. It's working for the bench, Your Honor. It's not your job to enter a plea. It's mine or my attorney's, which... Uh, I mean, it couldn't be more the judge's job to enter pleas. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> this judge is, he's not confused. He not understands everything that's going on, but he, he's so flabbergasted in the wrongness. He, he, it just, it just stuns him and it takes him a second to collect. And then, then he carries on, but, but he's a good judge. In this case, it'd be mine. <laughs> So the court has already made a determination that I am not guilty. All right, sir. He's whining that the court has has prejudged him as not guilty. <laughs> you can't make it up. You really can't. Oh. Are you sure that you want to represent yourself knowing uh, all of the disadvantages or at least what I believe to be the disadvantages that you face? Yes. And uh, is that decision absolute and unequivocal? 
It's absolute and unequivocal. Do you have any hesitation and about the fact that you want to trial will be my peers, my peers will be secure party creditors. Do you have any hesitation? <laughs> the judge's approach every time is he's just stunned. And then he says, All right, I'm gonna I am not going to address this. It's too crazy. And then and then he just goes to the next thing he's gotta do. Do you have any hesitation about the fact that you want to represent yourself? No. Nope. No matter what you do to me, I will get out of it and there will be lawsuits. <laughs> All right. At this, point, at this point I'm gonna determine that uh Mr. Matson has made an unequivocal request to represent himself. Uh, the right has been asserted knowingly and voluntarily after discussion advising him of the disadvantages of self-representation. This always surprised me. Uh, Judge Gothier, I did a video on him too up in Sheboygan. He went through the same thing. It seems to me that the, this is sort of like a Freda inquiry, but then they let them re represent themselves. I'm only learning about this from YouTube because I don't do this. I do civil stuff. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm no expert on the topic. But it seems to me when he just says, I don't understand the, the, the charges against me and then spews all this nonsense that, that the judge would be required to, re to appoint a public defender for him. But I don't know. I'm not. I'm not criticizing because it is not my area. But it's just interesting. Mr. Daly, uh, and at this point, I will. I will. Uh, would, point would Mr. Daly, be willing to come over and talk to me here after we get done with this uh, video screen? All right. Conference. Yeah, I will appoint Mr. Daly as a standby counsel. And sir, you're no. asking. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. He does appoint appoint him as standby counsel. I guess they just know these guys aren't aren't going to just accept counsel server. They're going to have a big problem. So the, they're Ed, he flunked the Freda inquiry. He appoints standby counsel. I guess I guess that's the go to uh, approach here. Can I, yeah, can I speak with them about a couple of things? I I can put you I can put you in a breakout session so that you can speak to him over video conference privately. Mm -hmm. Let me do that, please. Okay. Well, he at least wants to talk to the attorney. Give me just about 10 seconds here and you'll get moved over to a private session. All right. Uh, Mr. Matson should be back from the breakout session uh, shortly. Your Honor, I'm going to be going over and talking to Mr. Matson. I still think after my discussion with him, there may be some ways to work this out. Okay. He should be back from the breakout session in any second here. They're back on. Oh. All right, we do have uh, we do have uh, Miss Matson back from the breakout session with Mr. Daly at this point. Uh, Mr. Daly, you had indicated to me sure off the is. record that you were going to have an in-person meeting with Mr. Matson at this point. Is that correct? I will. I can't get that done till Monday, but I've already indicated to him I'll do it on Monday. Okay. And and sir, is that something that you want to do is have an in-person meeting with Mr. Daly? Yeah, I want to see if there's um something that we can work out here just to save time and hassle and a lot of that that shows to me, and I have never seen it before, but this James Daly is a smooth guy. He went in there and sold the the fact that that this guy's got gonna facing a lot of trouble, and convinced him, and uh, that takes talent with with a guy that's that, that's this far out there. Brief between all of us. Okay. Oscar says hit like and subscribe. Oh, Oscar! And hit the bell notification. Invading my life. <laughs> But I really would, would would like to speak to Mr. Daly one last time before. All right. Uh, okay, so this is uh, an arraignment. Um, I, I presume, Mr. Matson, that you'd like to enter a not guilty plea uh, until you've had an opportunity to speak with Mr. Daly. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm not entering any plea until I speak with Mr. Daly and he okay. speaks with 
I will call it straight. Everything that guy said, th- that guy in orange, whoever he is, I don't, know, I don't know the defendant's name. I don't need to know the defendant's name. Everything he said made absolutely no sense until that moment. Right there, he said, I don't want to enter a plea until I speak to this attorney. Hallelujah. Something reasonable might occur. Prosecutor. Uh, based on that, I'm going to find that um, Mr. Manson stood new to the charge and was in a not guilty plea on his behalf. And uh, I'll set this then for a pre-trial. I object to that, Judge. <laughs> you cannot- would, would you prefer to enter a guilty plea on your behalf? I'm I'm just curious what the, what what precisely the objection is here. Enter that's working from the bench. You cannot enter not guilty plea. He keeps saying this. Uh, I object. You're working from the bench. Well, that's what a judge is supposed to do. <laughs> they, they act, uh, he acts as if that that some there's something wrong with that. Eh, that would be their job description. <clears throat> on my behalf, either me or my attorney has to do that. Wrong. We had his court again, made a determination that I'm not guilty. Right. As I've explained previously, it's not a determination that you're not guilty. It is an entry of a plea based upon you are not entering a plea at the arraignment. I will uh, set a pretrial for December 1st at 8 a.m. And uh, that will give time for Mr. Daly to have an in-person meeting with you at the jail. Can I speak with Mr. Daly here again in private? I'll just go over to the jail and see him on Monday, Judge. <laughs> Daly's been around. He's represented a few defendants. <laughs> he, he, he knows the drill. He's like, well, whatever. I'll get over there Monday and take care of it. <laughs> okay. He's going to come over to the jail and see you in person on Monday. Uh, so you way. can tell the officer that's with you that you're done in court for today. Okay. Um, how about uh, next time um, my a bond, um, PR bond, next time I go to court? All right. Uh, with respect to the bond for right now, I'm going to leave it as it's currently set based on prior failure to appear at. I, I can't tell, but I think he's talking about the imaginary bond for for the subset straw man and not the actual bond that's holding him in, in jail. <laughs> but the judge just addresses it like he's saying the right thing. I did appear. You, you wasn't there. I went to the clerk's office. Then I went on the television screen for Anna Marie's court. It kept clicking me off for about 45 minutes, and after that, I gave up. I did appear. I think that's a due process thing. That, that whole bit there, I just saw this one time, but I, I really liked it. I still don't know to this moment if the judge can't hear him or is just pretending he can't hear him. Either way, it's fantastic. <laughs> Here a lot of talk. We like to have fun. With all right. Silly stuff Thank you all. Fun as always. Every once in a while. I thought the clip was so good. I had to do it. I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching. <laughs>